All right, let's grip a golf club. So grab your club, throw in the clamp toe up, so align it towards the sky so you know it's nice and square. Clamp it in. Grab a marker and a grip. I'm going to put a mark on the shaft so I know roughly how much tape there needs to be and where that tape is going to end when I put it on. I'm going to use a grip as a guide for how much tape to pull off and then put that tape on to the end of that mark that I made. And I'm going to use my palm and my fingers here to smooth it out and make sure that that tape is really nice and flat with like no creases or anything as I slide it on. I'm going to pull out a second piece because I'm doing two wraps in this case, but I'm going to put it in a different orientation. I'm going to put this piece on the side just to make sure that there's no crease as I go down. If you put all the pieces of tape in the same orientation, it can create like a really thick uh, mark that you can feel. So again, slide it all on, make sure it's nice and flat, cut the excess off. Solvent bottles are by far the best way to put solvent on. Cover the bottom with your finger, like you see there, and then just, you know, spread it out all over the grip. Make sure it's really nice and lubricated. And then the last step is just putting it on. So just get it started, kind of wiggle it on there, and then just push, no need to twist or anything. Make sure that there's a piece of paper towel behind so it doesn't go everywhere. And then once you're done, just, you know, take your time and line it up. It's probably gonna take 15 minutes or so to dry. All right, well, here is the full process of throwing on another grip here without any cuts in it. I'm gonna use my grip again to see how much tape I need to pull out. I've got a mark on that shaft. I'm going to, again, put that piece of tape on there. I always throw the first one all the way on top and then just wrap it around using my fingers and palm. Palm is much easier to kind of just get it all the way around, try and wrap it all the way around, make sure it's nice and smooth. Grab my second piece of tape here. Again, using the grip as a guide for how much you're gonna pull off. I always pull off, you know, just, I don't know, another inch or so from what I need, just so I make sure that there's enough. Again, put the orientation of the grip tape a little bit different than the first one, so you don't create this, like, really big, thick seam. Wrap it all the way around again. Make sure it's all nice and smooth again. And then tie it off at the end. Rather than cutting it off, you can just kind of tie it and twist it and shove it in there. It kind of all works the same either way. Uh, solvent. Solvent bottles are by far the best way to do this. You make sure that you get plenty of solvent in there and it takes way less time than a squirt bottle. Fill it up. Again, I'm covering the end of the cap with my finger so it doesn't squeeze out as I fill it. And then just, you know, make sure it's nice and coated using that hole at the end of the grip to fill it up. Grab a towel so it doesn't shoot all over you as you put it on there. Just kind of wiggle it on, get it started, and then just push. No need to twist or anything as you push it on there. And just make sure that it covers the grip tape. It doesn't go too far over that grip tape, otherwise you're gonna be stretching it out. So you see I kind of went back and forth there a little bit. And just twist it on there, make sure that it looks good. It's gonna be setting for about 15 minutes, so you got plenty of time to sort of twist and organize and make sure that it looks square with the club face like I'm kind of doing there. I, I'm very picky with how this looks to make sure it looks perfect. And then again, once it's all set, just try not to grab the grip when you're taking it off just so you don't twist it perhaps. And then, you know, just clean it up on the top and the bottom of the grip. There's always going to be a, a bunch of extras. So just wipe it off with a shop towel like I got there. Take it off. You know, again, I'm not grabbing the grip when I take it out just so I don't twist it and you're done.